Hello, Lillas. Welcome back to my channel. I am here with baby Bree, which is the Evie Sculpt by Laura Lee Eagles. And she was painted by myself and one day will eventually be rooted by me. <laughs> and I say that with so much, so much, much more behind that, that one day. Um, because I started to root her and I just never finished and I just put a hat on her and just put her head back on. I was just like, you know what? We're not going to worry about it. I'm going to get to it eventually. I just wanted to enjoy her while I could because it's like I just have too many other things to do. And I decided to keep her as a personal baby. So I just said, you know what? Let me let me concentrate on other stuff right now and I'll get back to her. So when her hat come off, just know that's why she is partially being rooted. Um, I did, I could have sent her off to have her just finish her rooting by um, a professional rooter, but I decided I wanted, I started it. I want to be the one to finish her. I want her to be solely completed by me. That is my goal for a lot of my personal babies. It's, I want them to be, you know, pretty. I want to have babies in my collection that represent my work completely, if that makes sense. Um, I love other artists work and especially if they're more advanced than me, <clears throat> it is very nice to have their work, but it is, more rewarding to be able to say hey this is a baby that was done and completed fully completed by me so i really am trying to stay disciplined in doing this she has the matching one um to my granddaughter she has the other one so it's just a cute little romper that i was taking off for her she has a tummy plate here and somehow I got this little split there like it's barely there but I mean like you can't see it I didn't notice it until I was getting ready to sell her one time and I realized that it was there and I was like oh man I better disclose that somebody will have a fit over it but I just decided to keep her and I don't like I'll be honest um just Really quick, a review on the Evie Sculpt. I love the Evie Sculpt, but I don't like the belly plates as much. Sometimes I think they, they are a little too bulky, but I don't know, sometimes sometime it works. I kind of, when I painted her, this kind of rolled, kind of curled in. So it's pretty good. And, and you could, it's already got the holes in it which is nice. I will say that that's, that part is nice. It's, it has the holes in it. So you can put your, I'm trying to get in the camera. It has the, the holes in it so that you can put string in there and tie it so that it don't bulk out or don't, you know, keep coming off. But I don't know. Now this diaper is fairly big, but this is the trick for me when you're using a tummy plate is to use maybe a size up diaper so that it cover the cloth and cover the tummy plate without it like being a real struggle. So I'm gonna put this on her like this. Let it wrap around her side. I do like the idea that the belly plate does wrap around the side and like I said, maybe if I put the string and tie it, it'll stay wrapped really nice but I kind of do it with the diaper anyway if you pull the diaper tight enough it kind of closes it up for you I'm gonna actually tuck it this way this time so I'm gonna do this so I usually try to pull it pretty tight so that it holds the tummy plate in I know I sound like I'm trying to do a tutorial or something that's most of you guys probably like oh, seriously serenity it's not that deep but um so yeah so then you know when you take photos depending on the angle you can make them look like a real 
full body baby so you just got to get the angle right <clears throat> but anyway like I said it's not my favorite thing the tummy plates so this yes she is she's gonna have a head full of nice hair this mohair that I'm rooting her with is very very nice and I am gonna finish it when I finish rooting this preemie I'm gonna get back to rooting her because I think she's gonna be so beautiful with um with the rooted hair she her her skin complexion and everything and her deep her little details are very beautiful and her eyebrows are really nice too so I think she's definitely once once fully complete she's definitely gonna be a sweetie I don't know if you guys oh you guys might can't see her come over <laughs> It's so funny. Like, I just, I don't know. I, sometimes, you know, when you go to painting the, the dolls, you fall in love with them for yourself. And it's like, oh, I'm going to keep this one. 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 The next thing you know, you're keeping all of them and you ain't got no money because you should have been selling them. But, I do sell some of them. Sometimes that's why I kind of like when I have like people waiting on them because then I can't keep them. <laughs> okay, so that's her. She's so cute. Um, what was I gonna show? Let me see if you see what you guys can see. I have um, the window open for natural light, so. can see I love I really love the bottom of her feet like I really love the color um like I said the weirdest thing about how I paint I never remember what I did or how I did what exactly what colors I did to get there I love her skin tone I don't know what colors I mix when I got there but in person it's really nice and I really really love it so She's just one of those babies that I really, really love. And I cannot wait. I'm just, oh my gosh, you guys have no idea how I am just dying to get my Phoenix back home. I've been doing all types of crazy stuff. <laughs> like, I always have him, like, playing with the babies. And he doesn't even, he's not put together. It's like, yeah, I think he loves him, sissy. <laughs> so... Like, I will, it is crazy. Like, I do crazy stuff. Like, I took pictures of them. So, like, I'll have, like, that. But usually you can't see this part. So, I would have to push that out of the camera like that. Then you can see that. And then sometime I might put the feet, I might put feet in there, like, it's just like, and then like, okay, so then I'll move this. I just have to have too much fun with blank parts. I don't know. And then we'll make him tiptoe. He'll be tiptoeing across. <laughs> okay, let me stop. But... I am. I just cannot wait. I love this baby. Like I, I can't wait to play with him. I don't even have clothes. A lot of clothes for him yet. I just, I don't care. I'm gonna wait till he get here so I can see how, what size I make him. But anyway, back to this little one. I got distracted. Um. So yeah. So I'm loving all my different diaper prints thanks to my special friend, and um. 
So I am just like really loving the babies and all their little cute little prints. And she has on her little flamingos and she'll be all set. Um, I'll maybe like maybe even put a little unicorn right there with her or something. Just, you know, that would be just like a picture maybe bottled. Now I have been getting into accessories. I don't know why, but like cute bottles and stuff. I've been looking for those. So I do do that. And um, I've been busy. Like I made milk. Um, what is his name? Oh my gosh, I forgot the guy's name. He's a reborn dad and he was showing how so i made the milk and he was showing how he used food coloring into his um whatever he makes for his bottle so i said you know what i took the fabric softener and i just put some white um food coloring in this and it made actual milk color that is a healthy bottle of milk like you know formula has that yellow tinge to it so i don't know if you can see the difference but can you see like this is, this is very white. Like very white compared to this formula. This formula is yellow, like a yellow color. So this, I don't have to add anything to it. I just use the downy um, fabric softener with the yellow top and that makes the formula just by itself. You don't have to do no coloring. You don't have to ruin your fabric softener, which is great because as I get old, I will sometimes either add water to it or I will just add it into my laundry. Also, sometime I'll take it and use it for the baby's hair. So these I can have multiple uses for and not waste money. This I won't be able to use and so I'll just probably add water if it starts to thicken up but it's pretty cool because I can't believe how nicely it made like the exact color of milk. So it's not like overly white and it's not yellow. So that's pretty cool. And I sealed the, the nipple thanks to, um, I think it was Kim from Facebook. Um, Kim, shoot, was it Adams or Kimberly Adams, Kimberly? something one of the Kimberly's I have a lot of Kimberly's on my page and um I had asked about bottles how do they seal their sippy cups and she told me about this one with the the uh, soft sprout so I was able to go in and seal that so I was really happy about that so I made my mom's baby apple juice which was India that was in my nursery and then I made um Phoenix some milk I'm gonna make him more bottles I'm gonna make him some apple juice and stuff like that I only really gave my baby some milk and apple juice i don't think they had like other oh grape juice but i always gave them the white grape juice anyway so well just but anyway i'll do that for role play um this one is one that i made for the boys noah and nigel my little silicone babies because like i said i love to give them actual milk and that way nothing comes out so i really like that um and that's that you know so that's all i've been up to guys let me know what you guys have been up to and do you guys make fake formula and bottles and stuff um but i just thought this was it was really cute and so i am enjoying this little one and i hope you guys enjoyed watching the video don't forget to give me a thumbs up make sure you're following me on instagram make sure you get your merch um and about merch i have some extra mugs here i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with them just yet um that i had ordered because i was gonna take them to the doll show but since i'm not um may include them in some other stuff so again thanks for watching this is baby brie she is a part of my personal collection she is not for sale and she won't be for sale so that is that thanks for watching